Hello once again. Hello from the town of Denby. Denby, very famous for folklore, for fairies, for witches, for goblins, ghouls, and ghosts. And motor cars. Today, our story takes place in the town of Denby and it involves a midwife. This midwife was woken late one night, fierce rapping at her door. Now being a midwife, she was used to being disturbed all hours of the day and night, as you can imagine. Babies wait for nobody. They come under their own steam, don't they? They decide when they're coming. So she dressed hurriedly, opened the door, and there was a fine, small, dapper little man stood at her door. He ushered her into a carriage that awaited her and whisked her off towards the moors. Arriving at a very fine house, she was ushered up to the bedroom and there she saw a very small lady, a beautiful lady, heavily pregnant. The midwife administered to the lady, producing a beautiful baby boy. She was paid the going rate, put back into the carriage and dropped behind me back into the town of Denby. A number of weeks passed and the midwife decided one day she was going to the town of Rithin, eight miles down the vale. It was market day. She loved to browse the stalls on market day. As she was stood by one of the stalls admiring some bags, who did she see across but the lady? The lady that she'd administered to those weeks previously. The midwife went over to her, inquired after her health. Instead of being pleased to see her, the lady was furious. How can you see me? How are you able to see me? The midwife said, of course I can see you, you're here. To which the lady replied, with which eye can you see me? The midwife said, why, my left eye? At which point the lady touched the midwife's left eye and the lady disappeared into thin air. The midwife returned to Denby. It was only later that she realized that she was now blind in the left eye. Fairies, they still abound today. They are still around. We may not see them. Maybe that's not such a bad thing after all. Goodbye for now. It must be true, I saw it on YouTube.